Does any of those good Gio Urshela vibes carry over to tonight? The Yankees sure hope so. What an at-bat out of Gio Urshela coming in cold off the bench in the seventh inning in a big situation and absolutely battling, fouling off tough pitch after tough pitch until the ninth pitch of the at-bat he sent over the fence at Camden Yards. And, you know, Aaron Judge said after the game when I spoke to him, people need to understand that is not easy to do if you're not used to coming in in those situations and pinch hitting. Yes, you can go underneath and hit off a tee, but that just does not replicate what you are going to see when you actually step into the batter's box but Aaron Judge added we've seen that out of Jew or Shella those are the types of at-bats we expect out of him and he certainly made it look easy last night now Urshela is feeling okay today his knee is fine so Aaron Judge Aaron Boone opted to put him in that lineup he'll play third base you still aren't going to see John Carlos Stanton or Aaron Hicks they're both out of the lineup Stanton was scratched late yesterday with that left quad tightness and Aaron Boone said he is feeling a little bit better he was going to ramp up his pregame activity and could, depending on how things went earlier, be an option in an emergency situation off the bench. As far as Aaron Hicks is concerned, he's dealing with that torn tendon sheath. He's progressed to the point now after taking anti-inflammatories where he's actually going to take some swings today. And while that in itself is encouraging, it could be very telling one way or the other as to what the risk can tolerate right now. Now, Bob, both of those guys are still on the active roster, so that means the Yankees are once again playing short tonight. All right, so what does that mean moving forward? I mean, day-to-day -day doesn't want to extend too many days because you get into a real roster pinch. So what's the plan moving forward? There's no doubt about it, and Aaron Boone was asked after the game last night if they'd consider making a move, and he said it was something the organization was going to talk about, but when he spoke to both Stanton and Hicks today, they thought that maybe those guys could be close, and they didn't want to make a move before they had to. So when you look at the outfield tonight, Miguel Andujar is going to get the nod in left field. It'll be Brett Gardner in center field and Clint Frazier in right. Frazier has really had a tough start to the season offensively. When you look at his numbers, they are not what you would expect out of Frazier and I spoke with him earlier about some of the adjustments he's been trying to make at the plate if you if you go and watch um, some of my earlier at bats from the season you'll see that my my hands were positioned a little bit higher in my starting point and they were they were dropping a significant amount once I started to go so you know the point that I swing at it was about like a foot drop from there and it was causing me to be really really late on balls so if, if you watch in the games lately that's why my hands are really low right now that my hands are at the spot that I'm going to swing from and, and that was something that you know I was trying to I was trying to figure out how can I get my hands not to drop and you know I told Marcus I was like I was laying in bed and I was about to fall asleep one night and in my head it was just like why don't you just drop your hands so um Right before I fell asleep, that's how I found out that move, and, and, and I'm sticking with it, and it feels really good. You know, I'm going to try to just continue to, to be myself and, and to try to find that version of Clint that, you know, was really good offensively the last few years and, and you know, take the, take the play discipline that I have right now and, and try to turn it into some hard contact and just go out there and, um, you know, uh, just be myself. You know, there's a saying that, you know, pressure does two things. It, it busts pipes and it creates diamonds. And, and, and I'm trying to be that diamond. I, I asked Frazier if there's any indication that things are starting to trend in the right direction. And he said the fact that he's still walking and doesn't feel as though he's expanding the zone is certainly a positive. And noted that at times he is making hard contact. The balls just aren't falling. He feels like it's a matter of time until he is able to find some holes. Time will tell whether or not that's the case. As I mentioned, he's in right field tonight. And with no John Carlos Stan, Aaron Judge will DH. All right, so we've talked about some of these day-to-day -day injuries. What about some of the long longer term ones and is there any good news on the way? Bob, as a matter of fact, there is. I'm not always the bearer of bad news. Let's be the person who delivers some good news. Zach Britton threw in a simulated game today, and according to Aaron Boone, he said he was a little bit rusty, but all in all, the arm felt good, the stuff felt pretty good, and the plan for him is to join the Somerset Patriots on Wednesday to throw there and begin his rehab assignment, and they believe once his 60 days is up, he is going to be good to go to come off that injured list, and wow, what a boost that would be for this Yankees bullpen, which has already performed well 
throughout the course of the season. Also noteworthy, Rugnet Odor was eligible to come off the injured list tonight. However, he's not quite ready. He did take a step in the right direction, hitting in the cage on the field today during batting practice. He has been fielding some infielders. Aaron Boone said the Texas series is a possibility for Odor. And the other day, Aaron Boone also said that Glaber Torres may be back sooner than the 10-day quarantine uh, that they thought that he would have to go through. But right now, it seems as though he's backpedaled a little bit on that. Glaber Torres is still testing positive for COVID-19, so it doesn't look like a return for him or any of those others that have tested positive is imminent. All right. Thank you, Meredith. Have a great night. We'll see you in a bit with Michael Kay.